Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are back in Cliff Empire with our cities Helheim, Midgard, New Asgard, and our space station Valhalla. Currently, we are on the objective of defrosting 200 people from Cryo Sleep. We defrost them 50 at a time, which is a pretty easy task. All we actually have to do is get this one thing built, so we just need to get $25,000 up here, which Honestly, it's not that hard. We I forget what our financial status is. Yeah, we get 100 credits a day, give or take. And uh, as you can see, the other resources are just kind of flowing in from everything else. Our manpower up here is at 100%, so you can't ask for better manpower. Um, so it's really just a waiting game, honestly. I've got it sped up a little bit. We're going to hop up to six times. Um, we got an approaching, a, 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 approaching cloud of mist down here in the uh, real world. I don't think we have, yeah, we have nothing left to research, so we're pretty much done on research. Um, we have an abundance of communication, abundance of power. Essentially, all we're doing is maintaining the, uh, all we're really doing right now is maintaining the status quo. Uh, wind usually dispersed it died down. I'm pretty sure we have to sell batter. Oh, no, this is where we just make money in the office So we're just gonna speed that up this will take care of itself while we wait on the 25,000 up here. This is gonna take a minute to get 25,000 actually. It's also gonna take a minute to get uh, another 130 so What is our current financial status 200 almost 300 a day? So, I mean, it's not taking a stupid amount of time, but it still is taking a large, a decent chunk of time to get the money up. As you can see, Midgard and Asgard have a quite a large influx of cash. So, honestly, it would be nothing for me to loan them twenty-five, but I don't want to deal with the loan of $25,000 to another city because that would just be asinine. Because this game is really funny when it comes to paying back loans. I do like the space station. I love how we built this down here. Our little orbital parks. Look at them. Look. Look at the orbital parks. It's got a lion statue. That would be awesome to be in space and just look down on the planet while you're in a uh, biosphere, essentially. I guess is what you would call that. A biosphere. Yeah. Um, what do we have over here? We had a salad farm, 3D printing station, a recycling station, and a docking station. I forget how many how many workers does the docking station require? 30? Eh. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. I apologize. Oh, I love this game so much. It's just such a fun game. Alright, we're at 13,000 out of the 25 required for this. And this is going to complete the challenge for the day. Because we need 200 people to work in... 280 people. Um, we're going to have to defrost 250 at least. Just to get manpower to where it needs to be to get this going so we're gonna defrost quite a few people and then that's not even including the orbital salad over here or any of this stuff over here that we need to build and then some more uh, energy farming over here Ooh, we have a good amount of all this that's pretty decent pretty much just waiting on the cash we're already at 16,000 though so we've doubled what we started four minutes ago so it shouldn't take too long we're just waiting on the 25,000 now is it 25 yeah it's 25,000 these guys make so much money so fast. Just look at that. The United Bank gives a lot too. But I mean, we just get so much money. Almost a thousand a day. Which is ridiculous when you consider just the struggle down in the, uh, the struggle with like Helheim when I started Helheim. If you remember season one, Helheim was a nightmare. Um, we're not earning enough credits in the office. Is that because I destroyed offices down here? Office building, office building. I probably destroyed some office buildings down here, and I'm regretting it now. Because we might fail this challenge, maybe? I don't know. Looks like we're almost halfway there. On day four. What is this? An entertainment center? Entertainment center. What are you? I suppose I don't really need universities anymore, do I? Eh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Where, where? Well, I have no unemployment here. I've got no unemployment here. 
I've got 39 unemployment here, so I could take out a, uh, I could probably take, what? why is that not being built? Let's get some matter flowing into you real quick. I forgot I even had a second nuclear generator under construction here. That must have gotten knocked down during one of the uh, attacks, actually. That's probably what happened. So let's see, where can I put a... I can put an office building right here. You know, sacrifice this garden. Come pick up the debris. And we'll put a... Uh... Oh, we finished it! Okay, we'll go right up there in just a moment. Let me put down this office building. Can I fit a large office building right there? I can! And I will, and you will go there. So let's hop up to Valhalla. Our manpower is shot straight down, so we're just going to come over here, and we're just going to... Where do I defrost people? Um, defrost 50 people. Yes. Not enough money. How much money does it take? 5,000. Okay, well, that should be done in just a matter of seconds, and we'll be able to get some manpower back. But we did it. Um, we'll put it to sleep for now. That way our manpower stays at 100. And then once we get to 5,000, which will be just a second, we'll defrost another another couple hundred. That definitely hurt our average dynamic per day. That's fine. We actually know our average dynamic per day is closer to 1,000 versus what it is now. Now, this game is just so fun. Like, I'm not a fan of micromanaging, but I am a fan of seeing just large construction projects come together. I love seeing things just come together. Which is why when I play Minecraft is an awful idea because I always build something gigantic. If you saw the last, uh, or it hasn't actually come out yet, um, we're gonna defrost this. Yes. So now I can do this, and we have 85. I'm still trying to earn some money in the offices. That's probably gonna bite us in the butt. But we're 50 out of 200 here. Oh. Well, unemployment's at 14 now, that's fine, but we at least have another nuclear generator down here. Can priority one him, so he keeps generating some energy for us. And who's next? You're next? Yeah, you just need 38, that's fine. Valhalla still needs 5,000 cash, that's fine. I'd love 5,000 in cash, too. Yeah, we're gonna fail this, that's fine. New Asgard can take that hit. Over 100,000 in frickin' revenue. Jeez. If y'all are enjoying the series, just go ahead and subscribe down below. I've noticed a trend where, like, these episodes do the greatest, but after that it drops off. So if you do want to see more Cliff Empire, go ahead and let me know and subscribe so I can make more Cliff Empire. And, uh, yeah, just let me know how y'all think of the videos down in the comments, because I love feedback. Oh, there we go. Another 50 people defrosted. Yes, yes, 50 people. Now we're down to 100. Our manpower shot back up to uh, 87. That's not too bad. Um, it's because some people fell ill, so we could probably deal with another medical research center, actually. Objective oh, pay a fine. Okay, uh, we'll pay a fine from down here. Whatever. Not a big deal to me. Um, you're going to cost 14000 so I'm not too overly worried about the medical right now, because that'll get built. And once that's built, we'll actually have to defrost another couple people, because what? These take 100 people a piece anyway. So between the two of these, I'm going to have to... Why did you just lose so much money? What did we lose there? Do we not have enough government? No, we have enough government. Okay, well, we're going to keep defrosting some people. And then at the very end... I forget water is a big deal here, too. We're going to run out of water. Oh, no, we actually have a positive influx of water for once. Okay. That's because we're selling water from everywhere downstairs. That's fine. Whoa, when did that get destroyed? When did we lose our landing platform? Holy crap, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, my God, I am sorry. All right, hop back up to Valhalla because that is our primary focus. Oh, yeah, there we go. Making cash now. Making money moves. Let's go. I'm going to shoot myself for even saying that. Oh, God. Um, we're going to open up one of these. Because we need some more electricity. Oh, there we go. Now it's got some nuclear fuel running in. And we pretty much just wait now. This is going to take 14,000. Uh, that's already built, but we need to get another one more defrost. So another 5,000. And that should cover our workplaces relatively... Eh, not really. 
we'll need another like 200 defrosted but that'll be a close a close uh oh my god is that how many people we have to defrost yes it is holy crap objective completed build a solar circle at the orbital station okay how do we build the solar circle oh it's $25,000 100 engines and 800 materials um trading platform arrived sure We'll do that. Uh, that's going to take forever and a day. But we'll do that. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. This is going to take 14000 regardless of what we do. Um, so I want to get this built, and then we'll start unfreezing people again. God, that's going to take forever. Actually, no, it's not. We're already one-eighth of the way there with matter. We're already one-tenth of the way there. Yeah, this is not going to take that long. Might even get it done this episode, actually. I still have another 40-ish minutes or so to record, so... This is beautiful. Let's get another 14,000 up here. No, why were you sleeping? Stop sleeping. Don't sleep. Never sleep that. So that's our primary project right now. So what is that going to do? Oh, there's six of them. Each one require... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. There's six of them. Okay, that is going to take a process then. I didn't realize there were six sections of it. So does each one of these count as one? Oh, God. That'll give us 23 honor points, though. That'll be nice. That'll be really nice. How does that fix the supply on earth though because that's say that says stability of energy supply on earth so how does that fix our stability on earth that's fascinating and the fact that they cost twenty five thousand a piece makes this game can eat my ass that is a lot we're gonna need well i suppose we won't need energy anymore though once we get this built because it'll probably handle all the energy on its own right that's that's what i would think is that it'll handle the energy for the entire space station essentially i don't know how much one of these will generate at all but i guess if they're they're kind of just multitasking right now building all of them at the same time yeah they're kind of just going around just building them all at the same time that's just because we have enough engines though i'm more worried about the matter and the cash that's going to take so much cash. What is that? 6 times 25? That's... What? 4 is 100. So 150,000. I would have to... That's all of Asgard's income plus some right now. Holy crap. But if we don't spend too much money, that's essentially only 25 days in-game, I think, was our financial. It's right around 25 days in-game. So that's actually not too bad, but that's 25 days times 6 per ring, saying that we have enough matter. Uh, this one's only 50% or 60% with matter. What are you? Jeebus. I didn't know the solar ring was a thing. That's ridiculous. Alright, we now have a hospital, so our manpower has shot up. Or at least our medical has. Where's our medical? There it is. So 221 out of all of that. Uh, it's only really producing some of what it can. Oh, that's going to be shitty. I hate seismic activity because pretty much just four days of everything getting knocked down and destroyed. And we can't have nuclear generators. We really need to get these solar rings built, I suppose, then. So we have another 25 days of building here, at least, to get one of these guys going. I don't even know how many people this is going to require to run one solar ring, too. Oh, God. I'm curious how much energy it'll produce, though. I really want to see the energy output of one solar ring. Also, this is priority one. Could we just funnel all the matter to the priority one? So each one of these sections between is a different one. So we should have one priority one and a bunch of priority twos for the matter. Yep, okay. So we only need 300 matter here, but we do need another $21,000 here. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. I didn't know this was a thing. If I knew this was a thing, I would have managed resources a little bit better. Trading platform arrived. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. We'll manage somehow. 
That's a recycling station. That's a recycling station. 3D printing station. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. Okay. Um, I at least want to get one of these built. Yeah, I think that's the goal is just to get one of these built. May end up being a time lapse, maybe? But, uh, yeah, I'll just see everybody in a few minutes. Because uh, this is the goal, is to at least get one of these rings built. Because if this ring can generate a bunch of power, then I can start replacing some of these with other stuff that will be necessary for the construction and facilitation of more modules. So uh, I'll see everybody in just a few minutes. <laughs> happening relatively soon for the uh this build we've got twenty seven thousand dollars and it only needs 10 more matter which should be the next shuttle that comes towards it and then we're gonna see how much energy this produces and uh if it's really worth twenty five thousand oh this should be it oh yes generates 80 kilowatts that is garbage considering these generate what 250 how are you only oh it's pointing straight down though i think it's is that giving energy to the planet that's depressing i was hoping it would give us energy we need energy up here guys come on all right well we're gonna throw in some solar sections here because we need more energy by that'll be like 500 these generate a lot of energy but they're uh honestly let's just we're just going to replace all of our nuclear generators with solar generators because as much as I despise them, they are very necessary to uh, what we got going on here. But we did get at least one of these. I'm curious what that energy is. Is that like... I don't see that helping. Like, Oh wait, is that... Okay, I see it. There's a little... Okay, so it shares energy there. Oh, you can see it here, too. Okay, what about... It'll help stabilize this place a lot, actually. Once we get more than one. <laughs> um, we're going to prioritize one of these guys, just because we need a bunch of matter to flow over there. And then we'll prioritize... We'll just start going in a circle and prioritize this one, I suppose. And that's just the loop that we'll go in, is we'll keep prioritizing these guys. Uh, manpower's back up to 97. That's not too bad. So we got one of the solar circles. So all together, if these each generate 80, 80 times 6, that's, uh, what, 160 times, uh, that's 80 times 6, so 163 times, that's 420 plus another 80, so 580-ish? I suck at math, I'm sorry. Quick maths. 
I'm looking at roughly like 580 for the uh, amount of shenanigans that were... That wouldn't be too bad. I mean, what, new Asgard requires 1,000, so that would be half of my power output here. That'd be almost all of my energy output here and over half of my output here. So actually 580 being shot down from a space station would be amazing. Uh, it sucks for the space station. We just use too much nuclear fuel here to actually do too much of anything. Which is why I'm trying to get these guys built before we run out of electricity. Because we're going to run out of electricity pretty fast. And that's not ideal. But we are getting everything built slowly. We're going to speed up just a little bit. And ideally we can get this guy built. Uh, we just need the matter. Matter seems to be an issue here. Uh, for no other reason than just the speed at which we can produce it. Don't we have another recycling plant over here I was going to build? Yeah, you. We're going to undo you as well. Yeah, we need 890. So once these four guys get built, we'll have another 1,000, and that'll be perfect. For pretty much everything that we have right now. Um, but right now we're currently just devouring batteries, so if we could get some matter fluctuating over here would also be quite nice. Trading Actually, we're going to sleep that and just put all of our matter towards where it needs to go, which is... I probably should prioritize... Yeah. Okay. So we're working on that. We'll get some more electricity going. Unfortunately, we have battery power, and that's just eating through the batteries right now. Um, if we can get another two of these going, because we have 2,000 from the sun right now, this will give us another, this will push us up to 3,000 altogether. So that'll be nice, because each of these are 250. So if we can get another one of these up, or two of these up, we'll be good for a little bit. And then if we can get all four of them up, we'll be perfect. Kind of a shame that this doesn't add to our uh, overall power, though, because that extra 80 would, would be welcomed. Yeah, there we go. So we're at 80 out of 100. 90 out of 100, so about 50% for that one. And then we'll just hop between the four of them, and we'll have to add some more people in. But uh, overall, we've done a decent amount this episode. I'm quite happy. I, you know, we have a little bit of an electricity issue up here. Honestly, could probably solve that if we put some stuff to sleep. Like, two of these. <laughs> that slows down our energy consumption a lot, but it also slows down our money production. Um, this guy's pretty much useless. So that slows down our energy consumption a bit. I'm not too worried about producing cash more than I am with this stuff. But uh, eventually, come on, just give me 80 more matter. How much matter am I producing at a time? Six. Trading and these produce three at a time, which is a lot. It's a good amount. How's our overall looking? Um... Yeah, we're still positive on the water, we're negative on that, negative on uranium, negative on batteries, negative, negative, negative. But we're positive on the important things, like food. So, uh, I can take that, and then once we get these four built, we should be good for now. Ideally. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Let's see. 73%. Let's try and get this one built at least. We need 60 more matter. Uh, we've got nine right there. We've got 15 matter right here. Come on, guys. I need more drones. We need to finish this drone station back here, which actually isn't that far from being done too. Trading platform arrived. He's only one trip away from being done, so now we have more drones. Well, one trip now. Yeah, we know. Season of the Wind. Uh, I'm pretty sure that means cell batteries. Uh, let's go to Asgard, I think. Start selling some batteries. Uh, do a one-time sale of... Yeah, we have 60 batteries over here, so we'll do a one-time sale of 60. And then we'll come over here, and I'm pretty sure we probably have... Do a one-time sale of 60. And then hop over here, and I'm pretty sure we won't have any batteries, because we very rarely have batteries here. Where is our trade portal? Actually, no, we do. So we'll do a one-time sale of 60, 60, 60. That'll be 180. Doesn't really matter. 
and then we're just gonna try and speed through the day so I can get these other two stations built really quick. We need 40 matter here. We need 10 right here, but that'll be more drones, which will be really useful. There we go, we have more drones now. And I think that adds four drones all together, which is really nice. So uh, now we have more drones moving matter. Beautiful. This guy will be done in just a second. One more trip to him, and then we can prioritize that guy. So now the matter should flow over here. Please, please, please. Give me my solar energy. Come here, you. Okay, we have another solar ring. So we're almost in the clear with energy up here again. Actually, another one solar ring, and we should be almost perfectly in the clear. So which one is the closest? This one's actually the closest, so we'll prioritize two, prioritize two, and they'll get the same priority as the rest of the ring. But that's only because we have these guys sleeping right now, and we actually have an unemployment of 500. Yeah, so we're still going to leave him asleep for now. We are going to try and get this one built. We have more drones moving about, which is nice. We still have this recycling station and this 3D printing station, which will come about later. Um, how are these guys doing? Which one did I prioritize for number one? You. So this one's over 50% complete. It'll get done next episode. We're almost done with your 14%, your 23%. All right. Uh, I think that's all the time we have for today. We ran into some energy issues up here. We're almost done selling. Actually, you know what? We're just going to wait until we're done selling these batteries. I like selling batteries. I like seeing that we actually can complete challenges now. I don't know how many episodes I had where I just failed these challenges. I was like, well, what else do you expect from me? So we're going to keep selling batteries. Yep, there we go. Only need 18 more batteries. And then after that, we should actually get this done roughly around the same time that that day's end. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, so I'm going to see y'all once uh, we're done selling all these batteries. All right, guys, we're back, and as I predicted, it did take about as long as it did to sell the batteries to finish that one um, solar panel. So now we're going to start working on a second one. There we go. We're going to give the 25000 over here, and we're almost done with this one. It's only 200 away. So next episode, we will concentrate heavily on producing enough matter and materials for the rest of the space station. Unfortunately, I am all out of time to, for Cliff Empire today. I love this game. I love the community that's evolved around this game. And uh, yeah, so thank you all for joining me, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.